I guess I'll just start from the beginning. I was born in Pakistan, mm -hmm. and I moved to America when I was four. Um, we moved to Virginia, and then shortly after, we came to Oklahoma. Yeah. And my family's just kind of, uh, so my family consists of my mom, my dad, my brother, my sister. My brother lives in Ireland with his wife and kids, and my sister lives in New York. Yeah. And they're just living the dream. And then me and my parents live in Oklahoma. And okay. so I've been in Oklahoma since I was in the fourth grade. Yeah. And um, yeah, so I graduated from, I went to OU and then I graduated from UCO with a, um, God, I don't even remember my degree. <laughs> uh, public relations, essentially. Yeah, I've never used my degree once. Public relations. Yeah. And I then, you can kind of use it. I mean. A little bit. A little bit. Yeah. I mean, most of what I feel like I've learned has been self-taught or mm -hmm. taught by people around me, which yeah. is really cool. I feel like a lot of the lessons that I've learned and a lot of the career paths that I've gone has mm -hmm. been surprisingly nothing from college. But that's a whole other tangent yeah. that I could go on. Um, but yeah, so I graduated. And then what did I do after that? Oh, I worked at Apple for five years. That was pretty cool. That's a big deal. Worked at the Apple store. met some amazing people. A lot of amazing creatives, just some really awesome people. Yeah. Um, and then after I left Apple, I started Friendly Tech, which was a little company that it was just a little tech company that I had started. I still kind of do stuff with it. Nothing crazy, mm -hmm. but did that for a little bit. And then shortly after that, I worked for an interior designer, which was really that was a very challenging part of my life. It was really cool, but yeah. definitely something I'd never been in before. And it took me by a whirlwind. I left there shortly after that and kind of went on a six month hiatus where I just was trying to figure it out and didn't really know what I want. And then I went to New Zealand mm -hmm. with my best friend to visit my best friend's sister. And it was just like a life changing experience. It was yeah. just, I guess I hadn't done life like that before and I'd not been that far from home before. Mm -hmm. We were gone for three weeks. It was two weeks in New Zealand, one week in Australia. And it was like such a life changing trip. So and cool. it just put things into perspective like, I'm so minuscule mm -hmm. in comparison to how big this world is. Like, I'm just grateful to be here, yeah. you know, just having that gratitude. And so anyways, came back to the States, felt brand new. Two months after that, I left for Turkey and Italy with my my parents and my sister. And that was the first family trip we'd ever gone on. So that was really cool. Was, yeah. Um, and then that was, of course, another exhilarating experience because how little am I compared to the world? But after that... We, I got back and then literally while I was in, um, I remember this like yesterday, I was sitting on the doorstep in, or the windowsill in Italy and my now bosses, um, Megan called me and she was like, Hey, um, we just wanted to extend this offer to you. And so then that was my foot into the cannabis industry, gotcha. which is what I do now. I'm a manager yeah. at a cannabis industry or a dispensary. Yeah. But yeah. That's a lot. That is a lot. There's yeah. so much to talk about. And I can't, I'm glad you did that because there's a few <laughs> things I forgot, which now we're going to talk about, which is great.